the NFL has begun to see its popularity wane. I brought this up during the video I did on their deal with Jay-Z. This is just for good press. This is just to, um, you know, say, hey, yeah, we're still here and try to bolster uh, the sports popularity because it's taken quite a few hits over the last few years. We have this article coming to us from the APP, Asbury Park Press, which is a terrible and awful publication that is completely dipped in uh, Trump derangement syndrome. But it's through USA Today, written by Chris Bumbaca. Carly Lloyd says she's seriously considering kicking in the NFL. Let me fix that. Carly Lloyd says she's seriously considering a trying, attempting to kick in the NFL. All right. Carly Lloyd won't be booting any football through the uprights this fall for an NFL team. But come this time next year, it may be a different story. Lloyd, who threw out the first pitch Tuesday as the Philadelphia, Philadelphia Phillies hosted the Pittsburgh Pirates, wrote in an email to Fox Sports that she is seriously considering a future attempt to kick in the league. I'm having discussions with my husband and James about the reality of playing in the NFL, Lloyd told Fox Sports. They both, so as any, either one of them, like James or your husband, actually played in the NFL? Curious. They both feel that I could do it and should consider it, so I'm seriously considering it, as it's a challenge. Yes, your, your husband would like more income in the house, and your trainer would like more work. Of course. Of course they're going to be like, yeah, girl, you could do it. Go get him. Go get him, sis. <laughs> Is there anything she can't do? Carly Lloyd absolutely drilled a 55-yard field goal at Eagles practice. With no vent, with no defense or anybody coming uh, coming at her. This is really interesting. Earlier this week, her trainer, James Galanis, revealed that Lloyd had an offer to kick in a team's final preseason game Thursday. Which team? Huh? Which team sent this, shot this offer out? Which team was going to make sure that their kicker or their backup kicker or whatever would not get those reps? I'm very curious. He told ESPN on Tuesday that two teams had interest. A U.S. women's national team match between, against Portugal was part of the reason she couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. Mm, okay, sure. For someone who places a premium on training, the chance to work at Kraft at Kraft heading into next year is an ideal option for Lloyd. At 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 the at the Kraft, I guess, because that's a uh, that was a really weirdly worded sentence. If she's going to do it do to do this, she'll do it. She'll train in the off season. She'll get herself ready so that she doesn't do it for the sake of doing it. Galanis told ESPN. If she's going to do it, she's going to do it so she can be a success. Carly Lloyd, there's no reason a woman could not be an NFL kicker. You see, like this is all that men and women are equal nonsense that I talk about a lot on this channel. And no, we are not. Lloyd agrees. She told yes, NBC Sports Philadelphia during the Phillies game that she doesn't want to enter the process blindly. There's literally no other way that you can enter the process. <laughs> I want to actually attempt to do it, she said, but I know that I definitely could do it because anything I set my mind to, I can do it. And I can actually do kick and I can actually do kickballs for a living. And I actually do kickball okay. And I actually do kickballs for a living. So yeah, it's all about the technique. And we'll see what happens. Are you sure it's all about technique? Because a, a soccer game and a football match are two completely different things. And the pressure of having like fantastically fast linemen coming straight at you, I'm telling it, it, it's a level of um, you know, it, it's a different level of pressure because you don't get hit. Well, I mean, most guys would get hit. I'm I don't even think that they'd hit her. I think they they just pull up and 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 and, and do the two hand touch thing on her, as opposed to po actually popping her. Cause see, here's the thing that a lot of people don't really realize when it comes to um oh yeah well women can invade man spaces women can um just do the exact she's one of the guys she's one of the boys 
one of the biggest problems with that is that you completely ignore the men that you're going to have that you're that you're now asking to actually lay hand lay hits on this woman ray rice got kicked out of the league man and now you're like oh yeah woman get in the line of fire no okay like it's so confusing right like this is confusing to sell NFL. Well, like, what is it? Do we not hit women, or do we hit women? But oh, they have to be wearing pads. I'm confused. <laughs> When Lloyd went viral last week for knocking through a 55-yard attempt at Philadelphia Eagles camp, some critics pointed out that she took five steps to connect to the ball while NFL t- kickers normally take two. But try kicking the balls with a couple of steps, Galanis told ESPN, and if her range is still the same, then that's an important piece we'll knock over because she will know that she can kick the ball 55 yards with two steps, the same way an NFL player could. Once we knock that over, we'll contact one of the NFL teams and tell them that we're interested and we'd like to come down and spend some time with their field goal kicking coaches and let them make some tweaks and fix her technique or adjust her technique from the, But don't they have things to do with their actual kickers? Like, come on, man. From there, bring in the team and she can do it live at training camp in some kind of a realistic situation. No, the only thing as a, oh, golly, the only thing that's a realistic situation is an actual, is actual game. I mean, as close as you'll probably get is the NFL preseason, not even football, not even college football, because it's just different levels. And she's just like, yeah, I can do it. But another reason that I wanted to do this video was because I've actually seen quite a few people have a hard time remembering. They, like, they, like I'll see them like, hey, man, like, wasn't this, there was a movie, right? This was in a movie, wasn't it? Yes, it was. And it's called Necessary Roughness. It's from 1991. And honestly, I really do enjoy this movie. I, it came out back in the day. There's the uh, the three main stars. You got Scott Bakula, Sin, um, Sinbad, and that was the ninja guy. Like, they get into a bar fight. This movie is really awesome. Like, it really is. Uh, I, that also may be my nostalgia speaking. But a C-plot in the movie was Kathy Ireland. Let's go to the... Um, th- there she is. Kathy Ireland. She uh, played Lucy Draper, who was the female kicker in the um, film. But see, there wasn't. it wasn't just... Like, you know, Kathy Island. There was a lot of names in this movie, as you can see. Jason Bateman, Sinbad, and in this role, I'm telling you, Sinbad was actually really good. Scott Bakula, who used to be a really big deal. I couldn't tell you why, but he was a really big deal back in the day. Nah, nothing but respect for Scott Bakula. He was a, he was a Star Trek captain. Robert Lagoja. Robert Lagoja. Oh, man, the guy's awesome. As well as Hector Elizondo. Um, uh, Peter... Uh, that that Peter Tua Lupsu guy, he actually ended up with Kathy Ireland because he was a provider and protector in the locker room for her, particularly when she went to go take her showers. He would stand in front and make sure that nobody would uh, watch her. Like, he definitely... <laughs> Imagine that a million times over. Rob Schneider. Actually, Rob Schneider, Larry Miller, um, and Rob Schneider. But Rob Schneider in particular, Rob Schneider was really funny in this movie. He played the uh, announcer and he actually had some really funny lines he was really good in this film i actually enjoyed this a lot i didn't see it i didn't see it in the theaters i saw it uh on i think hbo in like 94 95 or something like that because back then kids uh it would actually take months for um or or like a few years in a lot of cases for movies to go from the theater to eventually end up on hbo so yeah it was a um it was uh what's the name? It was, it was see here it is. Let's let's check out a movie clip. Ooh we saw look at that. They're putting the bloody shield on the team. We'll be the laughing stock of college football. What you- now you know I gotta pause it because uh copyright and everything else like that. But man, look how young everybody looks. Um, uh, particularly Jason Bateman, because he's the only one who's spoken so far that actually has a career. I think we are now. Okay, I'm ready. Let's try one. That sounds like ADR, but man, Kathy Ireland back in the day. Bad, one of the baddest, man. Manu, slap me the ball. Slap the ball, damn it. 
as I'm saying, all like, what do you? Hey, hey, these guys are in college, so I mean, technically, they're young. NFL players is going to be bit quite a bit different, but you know, let's be real. <laughs> And, uh, like the scenario really wouldn't play out any other way because he's like yo you sit there you look and oh is Kathy Island right there shit hello Manu Manu hike me the ball Hup. relax big guy you've already got the job yeah he told that like, I'm like oh, whew, girl things I would do to you would <laughs> fit got that uh, i got you girl and honestly her acting eh, it's not terrible it's not terrible nice kick that's a little off all right take it back 10 yards Oh, snap. They about to hit Carly Lloyd's uh, area. Oh, you kidding me? Yo, man, see? That's the pressure TV, man. That's what happened to wrestling, man. Women take over sport, man. How about taking... Problem is, it's like, I mean, it, you can understand because you see how how things just switch up. But, yeah, I, you know, we're going to leave it on a, sin, on a Sinbad quote because that's how uh, any video should properly end. If you can end every internet video with the send bad quote i think you're doing something right in life well anyways guys with that being said we're gonna bring this one to an end we're gonna bring this uh this video to an end all the internet stuff if you liked it toss it a like dislike yeah go ahead do that too i ain't scared of you sub if you enjoy my fantastic voice and you want to get videos like this every single day share because sharing is caring youtube bitch you who knows and speak let me know what do you think in the comments uh, like is this anything more than a publicity stunt or do you really think that, oh, they should give her a, 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 a shot? I mean, I, I think they should give her a shot. But ultimately, like, but sweetheart, this is it's all for nothing because this is just too complicated. Why are you looking to actually overcomplicate things? But, I mean, vagina, right? So <laughs> let me know what you think in the comments. And until the next one.